What are you doing with everything that doesn't sell? We clean it out. Take it to the trash? Pretty much. Hey, get over here.
Is this the digging for deals section of the house? It's mostly just garbage, to be honest. Wow. I don't know, some kind of computer part. I'd recognize oh. that um, logo okay. is why I grabbed yeah, it. Yeah. And then these are um, just a couple of posters. posters. Yeah. yeah. Okay, come out 10 bucks. Perfect. Okay. You go, Thank you so much. Well, thanks. What are you doing with everything that doesn't sell? We clean it out. Oh, you guys resell too? No, we clean it out. You take it to the trash? Pretty much. If we can't find somebody to donate it to, mm -hmm. it goes. So are you doing another sale after this? Um, nothing lined up so far, but he's getting his business affairs in order. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I am back at the shop. I did not find too much stuff at that sale. What I did find, I was kind of just grasping at straws, to be honest with you. So I got this right here. This is a uh, video card. I had to look it up once I got back. I just knew it was some kind of computer part. I recognized um that logo okay i sold something from that before so i was like you know what i'll go ahead and grab this it's like somebody left a note in here too i'm guessing they bought a new video card and took out the old one in their computer probably uh but this is the amd c001 and i saw the same one sold for like 20 25 bucks not too much money let me see here if i can get this note open and it says something Motherboard Alienware. Hmm. Yeah. That's probably just some different things they put in the computer. I was digging around a lot of boxes. That place was a mess. I don't know if you guys saw the one room where it was just like, looked like trash just piled up. Somebody was digging around in there. There was a lot of boxes like that, which is random stuff. I found this Lost Kingdoms GameCube manual. Not in the best shape. I didn't know that it'd be worth much. I did see one that sold for like $22 free shipping, manual only. Um, a lot of times, the more sought after games, people are trying to piece them together. You know, they'll buy the box or they'll buy the case and the disc and the manual and try to get it complete. Did the same thing with this Teen Titans. The game is not in there. When it's complete, it's selling for like 45 bucks, and then the game is selling for about 20 So you would think maybe you could get 10 or 15 bucks for it, but it's pretty smash. I don't know. That might not even be worth listing um same with this this was a dreamcast game uh but it's just the case doesn't even have the manual that if it's complete it's all for like 35 but as it is it's probably not going to be worth anything i was seriously grasping at straws because everything was so overpriced it wasn't even realistic i mean they had an xbox with no cords no cables no games no controllers no nothing for 90 dollars. so i was you know working with what i what I had in front of me. I thought this was pretty interesting. So this is a Pokemon poster. Um, let's see, Symphonic Evolutions. This is from 2015. This probably came from some kind of game store or something. I couldn't find any active listings or completed listings, um, but I did see one for this one. When I searched Symphonic Evolutions, I saw this poster. Pretty cool. Uh, Pokemon always seems to sell. I mean, it's a poster, so it probably isn't gonna go for that much. Maybe $15, $20. If I'm lucky, all in all, was really disappointed with that sale. So that was the second day of that sale. And they said that they are not doing any more days, any more weekends, whatever. So everything that's left over there, they are keeping. Or as they told me, they are going to throw away. I don't like to use this channel to badmouth any companies, badmouth anybody. So I specifically like blocked out their faces. I'm not including the business name. But I have to share with you guys, when you're out and about and you're hitting sales and you're making a go of like doing this resale thing full time, you kind of got to take notes and see which estate companies are legit and actually trying to sell things and doing right by their customers, the actual seller and owner of those items and which companies are trying to scam them. Because I've done this long enough. I know how this game works. What happens is some of these companies go in to the family, whoever it is that's trying to get rid of the stuff, and they say, yes, we're gonna to try to get as much money as we can. And in the contract, it says, whatever doesn't sell, we get for X amount of price. They've already got a price worked out a lot of times. And it's usually pennies on the dollar. So sadly, those, you know, the minority of the companies, of the state companies, 
are incentivized for things not to sell. They price them so high on purpose so that they don't sell. Those old Tonka trucks you saw for $150, they know they're not going to sell for that. But they're going to keep them at the end of the day and put them on eBay and try to get $100 bucks for them. You can't tell me that you're pricing this stuff at $150 or as a compound bow for $500 and then you're just going to throw it all away at the end of the sale? I don't think so. If you want to know if an estate sale company is legit, ask them what they're going to do with the stuff once the sale is over. Most of them will tell you, oh, we're going to have another sale next week, or we're taking bids for, you know, to come in and clean it out, or like, we're going to have a 75% off day. They're trying to get rid of as much as they possibly can, because they're trying to just get as much money for that family. They don't want the stuff. They're not in the business of reselling. They're in the business of estate sales. They're trying to get more estate sales, and they're trying to do right by their customers, but not all of them are like that. So... Word to the wise, when you come across something like that, just know that the next time you see that company having a sale, don't waste your time because they're not actually trying to have a sale. Selling a little bit, maybe putting on a show for the family, I think. But yeah, it's just a colossal waste of time, sadly. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.